Hello and welcome to another Roblox devlog. In this video, I managed to get the trap system up and running, and it's a trap. So this is one of the fundamental game mechanics, and it works pretty well for right now. And so this video is just to be showing my progress and a bunch of time lapses showing the development of this feature in my next Roblox game. So let's get right into it. So I started by actually working on the traps themselves. And this required me making a module in the server side. And I also made a model before this for my bear trap, which is gonna be my test. And I just have to do some basic setup and get my trap set up. I've started working on the traps that my player will be able to place to kill other players and uh, I've done a lot of work and I've gotten some good progress so let me show you here so I have this tool trap placer right now you can't actually place it where you want you kind of place it it spawns it in and this is a basic little bear trap model that I made it looks pretty nice pretty proud of it so now if I were to hop on this bear trap, you can see it animates, and then I take damage, and now I'm at 50 health, and then I take damage again, and I'm dead. And it, the code itself is pretty simple. I mean, it's almost 100 lines, but the hardest part, doing the hitbox for the like killing, but it turned out to work pretty well. And I have a basic little debounce set up, I check if whatever it touches is a player and so I have it so it animates the bear trap and then it waits and then it checks to kill people so you can actually avoid the trap so if I go back in let's get my tool out let's spawn our trap in so if I jump away you can see the trap does not damage me at all that's probably also because it has a very long animation time so if I were to lower this down, this is just a tween, a basic tweeny bill. Let's do this 0.1 second. So it should be pretty hard to avoid. So let's spawn it in. Let's hop up if I can aim. Yeah, you see it goes way too quickly. So this will be something that I'll have to balance in the game itself. But you can bait traps as well because when... If I hop on a trap properly... Oh crap, I died. Um... Because if I hop on like the little center pressure pad, the trap will not activate after some time, so I can walk past it. I think what I also might do is make a larger sort of hitbox to trigger the trap, because only making it on that center pad makes it pretty hard to activate the trap, which is a problem. But that's all stuff I can tweak pretty easily, and yeah. So I managed to get the whole trap system working. Sadly, the video file was corrupted, so I can't really show it. But here I am trying to start working on the hotbar to like tell you where all your traps are and like how to, like which one's selected and which one you can place and like whatever. But when I get into this, I realize that my whole trap system is kind of crap like the place traps so I just rework the whole thing it took me a few hours there was no visible progress made but it will be a lot better for the future because I made a new module system and I just went back and forth many times trying to figure out the best way to make this trap system because all of these are local scripts and modules and it's just really weird and but in the end, it worked out pretty well. So, yeah. 
So, as you saw on the last time lapse, I just was working on my local scripts to deal with my trap placing. So, after a few more hours programming, we are right back where we started. No progress made. I was hoping to get the UI done for like everything, like the hotbar. Like, I have it right here. I had some templates. Let me show you. No, it's visible. I have to make the slot visible. Here we go. This is like a template slot for my hotbar, and that looks kind of weird. Let me play this real quick. The game seemed to have froze, so let's just wait a little bit. There we go. You can see it's like a little picture of the bear trap. So that that's an example of like a hotbar slot. It's all set up, but of course there's no real programming for it. But my code is a lot neater. I now have a thing to display in the world, and then I have a main local script to do all of the actual like server communications and I have an input module to get my input and I have a trap module which basically just stores like the max hotbar amount for traps and the equip traps and the available traps the current trap and an event for when a trap gets changed so I mean it works pretty well it's a lot better system than I had before. This was my system before with this massive local script that was not very expandable. Speaking of that, I'm just going to delete it since we already have a functionality. But yeah, that should be good for the future, but no real progress made. And that's about it for this devlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed this devlog. Make sure to comment any suggestions down below that you want to see, like maybe a tutorial or things you want me to change in. But, I made some good progress in this video, and make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this game, this progress, or any of my videos. And I hope you guys have a nice day, and goodbye.